Hey guys, we're going to have a discussion today about blower motors. Now this is sort of a hypothetical discussion. You're not going to see this much in uh, the field because this will be sort of a discussion on a system that would not be approved by an actual matchup. Meaning, uh, when you go into the, the books to get your matchup, you know, whether it be coil condenser, air handler and heat pump, furnace and whatever, it's not going to be written down in the book. This is going to be sort of mad scientist style stuff, which is, you know, which is what I do. So, we're going to talk about two stage systems. Two stage systems. Now, that stage is we're going to talk about, let's, let's take a heat pump, for example, an air handler. Two stage system. Low cool, high cool, has a, like a Copeland Ultratech compressor, whatever train calls there is, whatever. Two stages of cooling, two stages of heating. You might have, you know, electric heat as a third stage of heat. Can we take a PSC blower motor and retrofit that into that system? Let's say, let's let's just make it totally, you know, out of left field. You have an air handler, which is a PSC blower with a TXV. I had to put that TXV in there. Or we have a PSC blower with a piston that we're going to replace and put a TXV in. Now, the reason why we're doing that is because we're going to be two-stage. And let's say this is the future. We have a society that has a lot of two-stage systems in the future, which will probably be the case. Probably, Single-stage will probably go away one day and give way to two-stage or whatever they come up with, multi-stage, inverters, whatever they want to do in the future. We already have a taste of that now. If you're not, you know, we're talking about the carrier, Bryant, multi-stage systems. It has like five different stages of cooling, or you have the full variable speed systems, the inverters. But one day, single stage is probably going to go away because we won't be capable of meeting the government requirements with single stage, for better or for worse. Thank you, government. Let's say we have an old air handler. And we want to put a two-stage system, just like you'd have a, like a dry charge now. You put on there, except the dry charges of the future, two-stage. Can we get a PSC motor and retrofit that into that system? Now, the PSC motor has multiple speeds. So can we not take those speed taps and integrate that into a, let's say, a medium-high, high second stage and low-speed first stage? How successful do you think that would be? You know, we have to use relays perhaps because we might be transitioning from an ECM motor back to a PSC motor and we still need to be able to communicate with whatever board is there, especially if it's some sort of fuel, fuel furnace where it has an integrated control board. Is it possible to do? That's the question. Because in the future, I like you know, designing sort of off-the-wall stuff. I like doing that. You want to make sure it works and of course now, this stuff doesn't have a book that's written for it. If you're putting together things like this, uh, you better be damn sure it works because it's your name on the line. And whenever you say, well, why didn't you just put back the right blower motor? It cost too much money. You said this would work, you know. And my house blew up. But, no. We have blower motors here. Four speed taps. PSC. Will it work? Will it not work? Now, disregard the fact that you can say, I only put in the OEM motor. Okay. Disregard that. Disregard your feelings on what service parts you would use. And just think about it. Is it possible to do that sort of thing? Use relays. Because you have some ECM motors that are fed with low voltage. Can you use that low voltage to integrate into the relays as far as triggering a first and second stage on a PSC motor? I know, I know you can do it, but what do you guys think of it? interesting question for today. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think about you know, taking the primitive motor technology and replacing the more advanced commutated motors with PSC style. And do you guys replace ECM motors with PSC now? Or do you just go back with the OEM or just not do it? Let me know what you think. Put in the comments how you feel about the subject. What would you do? Would you ever consider doing anything like that? I will see you guys on the next one.